Hey guys, today I'm going to be putting together a Tesla coil kit which I bought off Wish for $5. After about two weeks this is what arrived. The kit was bubble wrapped for shipping which I've removed. Let's have a look at what's inside. There are instructions included with this kit which is quite nice. Quite a few of these kits are shipped without any form of instructions. The problem with this one is that the instructions are all in Chinese and there's no English at all on this sheet. I have no idea what supply voltage to use or if there's any warnings or anything to look out for when putting it together. The PCB seems to be quite good and the component locations are all labelled at least, so that should help in putting it all together. The secondary coil is also pre-wound, so it will help to reduce the assembly time. They have included a small light bulb to test the Tesla coil with once it is assembled. Before I start, I'm going to see if Google Translate can help me out with figuring out the supply voltage and some of the instructions. The results are not great, but it does say that the supply voltage is 9 to 30 volts and that it works best when it's supplied with more than 15 volts. There are also some instructions about assembling the primary coil which should come in handy. Now let's put the kit together. I'm done with all of the PCB components, I just have to put on the legs and the heat sinks. So this is a completed kit. Let's plug it in and see if it works. I had to change the winding direction of the primary coil to get it to work. There was some mention in the instructions about this, but I couldn't quite figure out what it was saying. You can see a small discharge at the end of the secondary coil. The included bulb lights up nicely when you bring it near the coil. I also tried a larger RGB LED, which also lights up when you bring it near the coil. Let's see if we can get an arc onto the tip of the screwdriver. That yellow flame near the bottom of the wire is just the plastic coating being burnt off. 
Now let's try the audio input and see if we can get some sound to play through the coil. That's really soft and terrible sound quality, but you can hear it playing. Overall, this is quite a cool little kit, and it's really easy to put together. I've put links in the video description if you'd like to buy and build your own.